You know, I think there's an old adage that says never believe what you see in the mirror or read in the newspapers, but the headline on the DI is what we all believe in right now, Lincoln Hall to get long-awaited makeover. In just one recent fall semester, 17,642 students took classes in this historic building, pausing, no doubt, to read the Gettysburg Address mounted on the wall of the entryway, and those students continue a tradition of touching the nose, for luck on exams, perhaps, on the bust of President Lincoln that, well, used to sit in the entranceway. In fact, as you know, the nose is yellow because of all the, the attention it got. I can't wait to see this great building restored and updated to be fit one of the great modern land-grant universities in the world. Like Dean Watkins mentioned, I am a grad and I did have uh, several uh, classes in Lincoln Hall. But when we started our planning study in 2004 and I came back, went back into Lincoln Hall and kind of walked through it and thought, gee, it kind of looks pretty much like I remember it. <laughs> I actually uh, realized that the building was in fact exactly the way it was in, in uh, 30 years ago. Um, basically what we're doing is, uh, we call it a historic rehabilitation. So that includes um, preservation, restoration, uh, renovation, and uh, kind of reconfiguration for the future. Um, we will be uh, maintaining and preserving all the facades, all the masonry, the uh, limestone, the terracotta, the cast iron. We, we appreciate that passion for what, what we all hope to see happen with Lincoln Hall. Respecting history, working for a sustainable future, and providing a first-rate learning environment for all students. I think that Mr. Lincoln would be very pleased to see how this building named in his honor is evolving.